Hello there, my name is Lucram and welcome to this new episode of Tips and Tricks. Uh, today we're gonna talk about quantum tech and this is going to involve the quantum drive and the floating block glitch which I like to call quantum welding because it fits better on what the glitch actually does. So without further ado let's get right into it shall we? Alright so let's start with an easy one, the quantum drive. This is a form of propulsion that is quite fast and quite maneuverable and you achieve it by spinning quantum rudders. This is the IQO, that's a ship I made and it has quantum welding and a quantum drive. So let's demonstrate how fast we can go with the quantum drive. Um, as you can see, it's very instantly very fast. Um, this right here goes at around 900 kilometers per hour. The quantum drive, the way it works, is the faster you spin the quantum rotors and the further away they are from each other, the faster you go. You can demonstrate this by, let's see, mirror mode. We can spread them apart, so let's go. Alright, we spread them out a lot more and now when we go, you can see... Alright, so for the quantum drive, the distance between the engines is a lot more important. That means you're gonna get more speed if you spread them further apart than if you stack more servos to spin them faster. And basically that's it with the quantum drive, you just have to get your quantum rudders, set them to maximum strength, maximum turn radius, I like to have them like that. You can play with the settings to find what suits you the best and just spin them around and it's as easy as that. And if you combine it with the floating block glitch you can do this drive pods as I have done here to avoid having to have a long arm connecting the whole thing to your build. Now we're gonna go on to the more interesting one. My favorite building technique, the floating block glitch or as I like to call it quantum welding. And the reason I like to call it quantum welding it's because of the way it works. In real life there's a thing called quantum entanglement. And what it does, put in very simple terms, is that when two particles are quantumly entangled, whatever you do to one of them is going to affect the other one, even if they are galaxies apart. And that's basically what's happening with the quantum weld glitch. You are entangling the weld points between two parts. And this is what you're going to do. You're gonna get a seat, it doesn't matter which one, you're gonna get a detachable block. Then set the detachable block to make scrap. And now, here comes the good part. You're going to connect to the detachable block, the first block you want to glitch. And for example, I'm gonna use this 2x4. The next step is you're going to pick the other parts that you want to glitch together and you can do multiple at a time and that's the reason I picked this 2x4 because it leaves me a lot of space to work with and I can for example use shield blocks and connect them all like this like that and now the connection point that's here the connection point that they share is going to remain even if you move them and the way you're going to do that is you spawn your creation, detach the thing, and then go back into build. And now, when you can remove this, and when you connect the base part, well, any of the parts, but this is the base part that has attachments to all of this. As you can see, they are floating, and they don't have the announcement that they are not attached. Now you can move them around however you would like. And yeah. 
this way I like to use the shields and flat connectors because let's say I want to have this shape floating around here I can just grab one of these, slap it on and now because this part is entangled with this part and this part is connected to this part this is all connected and this is the way you build with quantum welding now there's a couple limitations you cannot delete the pieces if you delete the piece and bring it back it's going to lose the entanglement so you need to be careful with that and the other limitation I'm going to demonstrate with the IQO and it's the problem because once you save your creation you have it saved but when you want to pull it out you pull it out and when it loads everything is lost again sort of like if you were to remove all the blocks and then place them back again so the way you go around this is you don't pull it out of your build tab you hover over it and assign a transformation slot to it in this case I have the transformation number 4 and then what you will do is you take your seat any seat you sit on it and then transform into the creation and now you can go back into build mode and you can go and edit them however you'd like again the reason you need to spawn a seat or another creation and transform within the seat is because if you just use the transform normally you're spawning it normally and then sitting you in in it so the connection points will be lost another thing you can't do in quantum welded animations is teleport because if you teleport for example here you are despawning the build and respawning it again so same problem as before you would need to transform again what you can do to remember is basically if you are gonna use a quantum welded creation just remember to be seated 